So Nightingale was probably the most anticipated survival RPG game that, honestly, I was anticipating the most. But we come for sad news today, as in today's episode, we're going to talk about Nightingale's delay into 2023. Now, it isn't that bad of a delay. Honestly, in my honest opinion, I feel like this was a great way to really add more stuff to the game polish up a lot of aspects because one thing i will always say and i've been saying a lot on this channel is that when it comes to any major game spend enough time as you can to make sure your day one launch is fine make sure you always have enough servers for the influx of people never prepare for a little always prepare for more like always get more than what you expect because there's been a lot of day one launch games especially in 2021 and 2020 and even with some in the past day one it was horrible some people couldn't play the game like look at new world new world day one launch people were waiting a tad of 2000 player queue nightingale and i feel like this was a good decision i wish the team best of luck but let's get into the nitty gritty of what's going on and why exactly do they plan on pushing the game out other than to some of the things I've just aforementioned. So the number one thing of the main reason why that they wanted to move the game to the first half of 2023 as an early access is that they want to upgrade the entire system to the brand new engine, Unreal Engine 5. So after they seen the potential of what Unreal Engine 5 can offer, they just said, you know what, let's upgrade our entire infrastructure, our entire way of thinking to that Unreal Engine instead of waiting till after the release doing a major big update like, no, let's do the foundation, the whole point <laughs> of everything. Let's build it off of this new engine to make sure that we have a beautiful game and of course have beautiful servers like i've seen a lot of games with the day one launch the game just did not go well and it's honestly saddening so inflection games also committed to delivering the best possible experience and fulfilling that promise of what night goes universal realms has to offer to players which of course who can achieve that you will need additional time to allow the team to make like i said get the content ready polish the gameplay and make major improvements because this game is very massive and very big we're talking about a brand new survival game just in case for some of you guys who don't know what nightingale is this is a new survival game that basically takes the same survival crafting aspects you will see from conan exiles the forest take that and make it on a grander scale as in we will be going from portal to universe to portal universe like so many different worlds and realms and if the team wants to make this good they are going to need a nice good handful of different universes off rip to make sure that this game can subside a lot of people because you know you got your major people who will spend literally the first eight hours or the first 14 hours in a single sitting almost, you know, you got your Twitch streamers, you got your hardcore fans who will literally blow through your game within the first two to three days of it being launched. So you need to have that replayability that just it needs to be massive somewhat. Yes, you can, of course, expand off of that with expansions later down the road. But I feel like this is a good delay. Not that constant delaying of like how New World had where it was like four delays back to back and other games took years and years. Like, no, they got majority of it. They want to release this game into early access. So they have majority of this game and I'm actually quite happy for them of that. I want to also cover the uh, apology that they basically went through with this. And honestly, I still hold the team like dear my heart like i wish everything the best for them but let's read off what they said i will pop it up on the screen for you guys they said realm walkers we've made the difficult decision to delay nightingale's early access release to the first half of 2023 we'll have more news on specific timing at a later stage which 
definitely subscribe to the channel because I will be covering a lot of Nightingale content. So if you want to know what's happening next in the Nightingale team's life, definitely subscribe to the uh, channel now so you can be able to hear from, uh, when they have to say next. So of course, just like I said previous, they basically made two considerations. The first, they did want to upgrade to Unreal Engine 5. Then they've actually just seen the potential of Unreal Engine 5 has to offer, which of course, it's a major big upgrade from Unreal Engine 4. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen any of the like type of like trailers or tests in Unreal Engine 5. It's insane. Looks pretty good. And like I said, they're definitely want to deliver on that best possible experience, fulfilling the promise of what Nightingale's universe of realms has to offer players, which that is a very big ambition. Like I said earlier, the universe of the different realms that like, you don't want to have oh, three different realms and that's all you got. And now it's becoming a stale game until you guys release more. Like, no, I feel like they're adding a bunch more realms, bunch more universes, bunch more creatures so that players and of course the game gets changed every so often because they're adding the fate cards into the thing. So which drastically changed the entire way you're going to play the game. So in the coming weeks, you'll see more game and development updates from the team. And then until then, we thank you for your continued support and enthusiasm for what we're making. It may take a little longer for the mystical fate portals to open, but we appreciate you taking this journey with us by Inflexian Games. And from Chaotic Inc., the Outcast community to Inflexian Games. You guys take as much time as you need. This is going to be a, a big project that is ambitious. I love the idea behind it. I love the Victorian style. Like you guys take the amount of time you need, release it when you guys feel like it's ready so that us players can have a good enjoy of these survival rpg that you guys have to offer like i said we have conan exiles we have forest and i can't wait to see what you guys have in store other than that guys what did you guys think about today's episode what do you think about uh inflexian games basically <laughs> delaying the game into the first half of 2023 what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below i want to talk to you guys about it other than that, it's been your host, KSD TV, here at Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace. I make a manifest. I don't sleep. That's so weak. Don't plan to rest. I'm from a hood 